XSplit is finally added VSTs, rejoice. So in this edition of the studio, we're gonna talk about the VST support in XSplit Broadcaster. So what are VSTs and why are they useful? Well, VST stands for Virtual Studio Technology. And if you think of the days of old school audio studios, you've probably seen like the huge mixers and these like basically big server looking things. And the devices in these big server looking cases were audio effects processors. So there could be a compressor or an EQ or a reverb. And they just did that specific effect and got chained and routed into the audio. So when digital audio stations came out like Pro Tools and Cubase, people also developed software versions of these different effects and these were known as VSTs. So it's a lot more manageable, a lot more cost effective, and pretty much all you do is you add the VST plugin and then you click a settings menu and each VST has its own interface that you can then interact with. All right, so how to use VSTs in XSplit? Well, first you need to make sure that the VSTs are installed properly. So whenever you install a VST, you're usually given a couple different options and the one you wanna pick is VST3. Now, where you install that VST, you'll be given a directory. Make sure to remember that because it'll be important in a bit. So after it's installed, launch XSplit, open the audio mixer, go into the audio DSP effects for the microphone, scroll all the way down and you'll see the VST section. So first you'll need to set the directory that it's trying to pull VSTs from. So make sure that you go to the same directory that you install that VST3 in. And I recommend using the same directory for all your VSTs so that it can just pull it all in one place. Anyway, hit refresh, select the VST, and make sure it's enabled. And then you can hit the settings menu and you'll open up the VST and manipulate it. We'll talk about this in a sec. You can add as many VSTs as you want. Super easy to manage all within this window here. So what VSTs should you get? How to use them? Well, I can't answer that because there's an infinite amount of VSTs, but I'll pick two of my favorite VSTs. So the most common effects that you'll probably use, especially for streaming, is gonna be EQ and compression. So first we'll go with an EQ and we'll use the FabFilter Pro Q3. This is a paid VST, but it's one of my favorite EQs just because the interface is just great and get really good quality out of it. So I'll add this in, I'll open it up. Now how you use an EQ, it depends on what sound you want, your own personal preference, what kind of voice you have, but I'll tweak it here for my own voice. And then we'll go for a free VST. This is the Rough Rider Compressor VST. I'll tweak it here a bit. And now that we have that set, We'll go ahead and listen to my voice with the VST on and with the VST off. All right, this is just my microphone straight up. It's the RE20 Electro Voice going into an RME Babyface Pro FS. This is just the normal mic audio. Now I'm gonna apply EQ and a compressor. So this is just a quick EQ and a quick compression. I didn't go in depth in tweaking this, but this is just so you can see the effect of when you add VST effects to your recording. So this is my voice. This is the RE20 electrical voice, electro voice going into the RME Babyface Pro FS. This is my voice with compression and EQ applied. This is the Fab Filter and also the Rough Rider. Now I'm going to turn it off. And now this is my voice back to normal, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, that's it. Let's go back into the regular video. Now that's just a quick sample of what is possible with VSTs. I recommend that you go find your own VSTs. I'll link a couple free ones in the description and see what works for you. But I wanna know from you, have you ever tried VSTs? What kind of vocal effects do you like to add on your voice? Let me know in the comments, give a like and share this video if it was helpful and be sure to subscribe for the next time that we're in the studio.